Hi, my name is Raymond Fenter from the Institution of Health Science. We're going to do a demonstration of how to treat the bowling ball using the cell quicker. Right, we're doing a bowling ball demonstration. So what we'd like to see is whether the shoulder is one lower than the other. And you'll find the same position on the shoulder. You'll find down there and you'll put your two fingers like that. So the idea is now take a photo from, the, from front but you need it parallel. That means when you're taking the photo, it has to be level to the, to the two where your fingers are. On that basis, we can identify whether it is skew or not. We're going to do on the ears as well. Bring the finger in, deep in against the bone, the, top, the, the upper bone. So you're going to press it extremely hard. So long nails will be a problem. The ears are fine. So normally one would be lower than the other. So the ears are at least fine, but once we've done the bowling ball, if the ears were out, we would have aligned that. We'd like to align down here. And then on the, the hip as well, we'd like to see whether, whether the, the person has a, a lower hip than the other. On this basis, you're taking it low as well. And you just like to, to make sure you're taking your photos parallel. And we can from there see whether the hip is lower or higher. Here we can see one hip is higher than, than the other and then here we see the one shoulder higher than the other. Alright, you would have bowling ball and you would then just start on bowling ball. Right, what you'd like to do is between the earlobe and the shoulder in the center there. This muscle down here you'd like to push slightly forward and, and get into the nerve there. So, uh, accessory 11 nerve. So what you do, you do, you take the two probes, you press it in deep and roll it slightly forward just to push that muscle forward. And you then put pressure on and you'll put more pressure than you, you'd expect. It's, you'll ask the patient whether it is comfortable enough or it's too, too painful. It's just until they, they cannot bear the pain, so you're pushing harder to get to the nerve. This would be two and a half minutes, and once you've done the two and a half minutes, you'll change your probes and you'll move over to, to the side. Once again, back in and roll it in forward, just to push the muscle forward. What you can also do is when you're finished, you can just rerun it, and if you like, and you can roll up and down. Roll up and down, and then direct on skin. You can massage both in like this. The massage up like that is very good for a glycoma. There is then the the pressure behind the eyes, and you would find a relief down there. We're going to take photos again directly after. This is now literally seconds after we've done it, and we're going to see the result down there. You can expect immediate, like run about 20% result immediately, and then over the next 12 to 24 hours, you would find probably a 90% result. You rather would like to do this more than once, and if you can do it for a week every day, and then thereafter, once a week for the next three to six months. You need to see on the side like that, you need to see that the person does sway. If the person is standing straight without a sway, then the sacral pump is off on the spine through to the brain. That transports all nutrients and oxygen to the brain. So I'll just close your eyes again. And you'll see there's a slight sway that's happening. So if she did not have a sway, she would then get, get a sway, but because we have done the bowling ball.